What's going on guys? Just wanted to hop on and have a little bit of a chat with you guys about uh, a lot of the FUD that's going around in crypto and stuff and guys the thing about it is that uh, I'm getting all kinds of emails, all kinds of messages from from uh, from you guys, from, from a lot of people and they're like, uh, you know, what about this FUD? What about that FUD? Like this is scaring me. I'm, you know, I'm scared of this, scared of that. What should I do? Um, guys, you're going to see as we get closer and closer to uh, the ETF approvals, right? You're going to see an increase in the amount of FUD, the amount of negative news that comes out towards crypto, right? And this is designed, it's designed that way. That's what you have to remember, guys, right? They do this because they want you out. And I know that, you know, well, that's, that's a conspiracy and blah, blah, blah. Guys, it's true, right? It's 100% true. Um, they want you out, right? Um, this is the first time in history that we, as a, as retail investors, as the little guy, have been able to um, front run the banks and the institutions and, you know, Black Rocks, the Fidelities, uh, you know, all that stuff. This is the first time in history we've been able to do that, right? And they don't like it. They don't like it. They want you out, they want me out, they want us all out um, because they want to make the money. Once they make the, 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 the hundreds of billions of dollars and the volatility is gone and stuff, that's when they'll say that, that you know, now it's good, now you can come in. So the point of it is, guys, that it's designed this way and you're going to see an increase in the amount of FUD that's, that's coming out. A lot of negative news articles and stuff, you know. Uh, a lot of negative spins on stuff that's not actually that bad, like uh, like India asking uh, or telling centralized exchanges to come into compliance with their with the regulatory roadmap that they've laid out. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing, right? Um, you know, news like, but it's spun in a negative way, right? People talk about it in a negative way, like, oh, India is banning crypto, you know, and stuff like that. Like, guys. Another factor you have to take into consideration with that kind of news is that if, uh, you know, they don't want centralized exchanges to continue to be the leaders of custodial, uh, you know, platforms and stuff like that. They don't want centralized exchanges to be making the billions of dollars. Why do you think they went after CZ and Binance so hard and stuff like that, right? Because the banks want to be your custodians of your crypto the investment funds like BlackRock, Fidelity, they want to be the custodians. They want to make the money off of your transactions and stuff like that. Uh, they don't want these centralized exchanges in. So you're going to see more FUD about these exchanges and stuff because they don't want them in, guys. Right? Like the, these people are, you know, whether it's Coinbase, uh, Kraken, uh, Binance, whatever exchange it is. They're not connected with the, you know, with the institutions and stuff like that. So these institutions are like, screw you guys. We want the hundreds of billion dollars, not you. And we're going to pay politicians to squash you to do it, right? People think it's conspiracy theories and stuff like that. Guys, it's all based on real life. Like, I, I saw, um, I saw, um, I can't remember who it was, but he, he made a, he made a good point. He said, listen, if you, me, and 10 guys were outside in the street playing basketball, right? And somebody put 10 grand on the ground and said, uh, the winner gets this 10 grand, right? Would you not cheat to win that 10 grand? Would you not do everything possible in your power to win that game, to win that 10 grand? Of course you would. Don't even deny that you wouldn't. You would bend the rules. You'd do whatever you needed to do in that basketball game to win that 10 grand. So why the hell would institutional, you know, um, invest investment companies and stuff like that, who who have hundreds of billions of dollars, sometimes trillions of dollars at stake, why would they not cheat to get all that money? Like perspective, guys. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's real life, right? And they thrive on the fact that that most people don't believe it, right? The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing man he didn't exist. And the greatest thing that these institutions, the greatest trick they ever pulled was convincing you guys that everything that they're doing is just a conspiracy theory and that you shouldn't believe it, right? 
They got you completely blinded. So not to get too far down the rabbit hole with that stuff, guys. The point of this video is to let you know that you're probably going to see an increase in negativity towards crypto uh, news articles and stuff like that coming over out of the next little while. And the reason for that is because you have these ETFs coming up. You have the Bitcoin halving coming up. These institutions know that we're headed right. We're on the brink of a bull run. They want to shake you out before we pump. They want to buy your bags before we pump. So don't fall for it. Don't let them shake you out. Stay strong in your convictions to the projects that you believe in, right? That's why you got in them in the first place. Don't listen to the FUD. Stay positive. And if you hear FUD that scares you, what I would say to you, if you hear FUD that scares you and makes you feel like, should I sell, should I sell? My recommendation to you would be to take the subject matter of what the FUD is, whatever project it is, and go research that subject. Read everything you can about that subject. Find out whether it's true or false, right? Because nine times out of 10, it's either a half truth or a whole lie. So that's why it's important to do your research. So anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to prepare you guys for that. Just understand that we're probably going to see an avalanche of FUD coming out, news articles, things like that, to try to shake people out so that these institutions can buy your bags at a cheap price, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, altcoins, doesn't matter, right? The, the question you have to ask yourself is, what kind of investor am I? Because crypto is, is the, def, uh, the definition of crypto is the transfer of wealth from the inpatient to the patient. So are you the inpatient or are you the patient? Hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Push us up into 2,000 subs. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, we're getting close. We need every subscriber we can get. We've got three days left to get. Uh, we need just over 100 subs, so smash that subscribe button. And uh, as always, check out L Bank, the channel sponsor. And uh, join the Discord, guys. And uh, it's free. Discord's free. So check it out. Join the community. And um, also support the channel. Click the join button. Become a member. Uh, get exclusive members-only content over there, guys. Uh, I just uploaded a video actually today on another uh, super amazing uh, project. I think it's going to do fantastic. Uh, so definitely you don't want to miss out on that kind of stuff. It's only $4.99, guys. Definitely worth checking out. And again, hit the subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.